uh, as we are in this uh, 40 day condition project, special condition for Eastern Europe. Uh, let's read the, uh, I have very interesting um, uh, from World Scriptures today. It was very interesting about government because it's very, um, how to say, actual, actual uh, topic. It's short, but very interesting. Okay, so we should live for the sake of others. A leader who lives for a self-centered life invites uh, disconnect and lead ad others to disobey their heavenly way. Living for the sake of others is a way to resemble God. When you inherit God through love and practice it to love your family, society, nation, and world, you are living in accordance with the basic order of universe. Only through practicing true love can you become a true person of perfect character and hence become a true parent, true teacher, and true owner. You became a peacemaker. When you live your life for the sake of others, you are headed toward the first gate of peace. For me, it's very interesting how many gates of peace are. <laughs> but when we live for others, we go to the first gate. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. So true, so true what I said. Yes, very, very connected. <laughs> okay, Grace, uh, could you turn your microphone and say uh, uh, next uh, prayer for peace in this prayer chain? Okay, uh, thank you so much, Nick. Uh, good evening. Yes. Uh... Yes, please say a prayer, a powerful prayer for peace, grace. Why you created heavenly parents? The Bible that before you created heavenly parent, there was confusion. But when you decided to create heavenly parent, each and everything that you are creating was good and you would end by saying that it was good. Heavenly parent, we know that everything you created was good. And you did all that for our own sake. You wanted an object partner to give you joy, heavenly parent. But unfortunately, Heavenly Parent, we are sorry that we reached a point and disappointed you. We failed to remain and remain united with you. And we followed the instructions that we are dealing, we are leading us to death, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, from that time, Heavenly Parent, you've been working so much, not until you found our true parents, Heavenly Parent, who surrendered everything that they have, Heavenly Parent. Everything, including their own children for our own sake. For them, they believe that all of us are your children and all of us are their children. But we are sorry, Heavenly Parent, that with much love, with much sweat and blood that you have been shedding of, or our, for our own sake, we still fight, we still shed each other's blood, Heavenly Parent. We are so sorry, Heavenly Parent. We are sorry that we can fail to fathom your heart of love. Heavenly Parent, we are coming together on this platform right now to pray for peace in Eastern Europe, Heavenly Parent, to pray for peace in African countries that are still undergoing a lot of bloodshed and wars, Heavenly Parent. We pray for peace for other parts of the, of the world, Heavenly Parent, where things are not okay, where people are still undergoing hunger, where people are so poor, where people are, are undergoing ignorance. They are just in ignorance. They don't know what is going on. Some who are still thinking that you don't really exist. We are sorry, Heavenly Parent. We pray that your loving heart, Heavenly Parent, could reach out faster and reach to all everyone, Heavenly Parent. We are praying, Heavenly Parent, that absolute good spirit world. We know that you're with us and you're watching us and you're listening to what we pray. But we know that we are limited, Heavenly Parent, by our physical 
situation that we cannot preach in those areas of any period and preach your word. But we know the spirit world is listening to us. The absolute good angels are with us. Please, heavenly parent, send the mighty angels to visit those homes, those families in Eastern Europe. The way you sent the, the, the angels to Abraham's home, heavenly parent. Thank you so much, heavenly parent, who pray that the same angels could reach there and take the good news, heavenly parent, of deliverance. That all people's ears could be tuned unto you the way uh, Abraham's ears were tuned to the angels and Sarah, and they could be able to receive the good news, heavenly parent, of bearing a son. Heavenly parent, this is the time for us to embrace your good news. This is the time, heavenly parent, for all the mothers to come and realize their will, heavenly parent, and know that, heavenly parent, you created them with a reason to take care of the whole world, heavenly parents, to embrace and everyone, heavenly parents, as mothers, we sincerely repent that all this is happening because we have not taken our, our position, heavenly parent. We pray that, heavenly Heavenly parent, as mothers, we are crying unto you that heavenly parent take care of those children, heavenly parent, who are in, in those situations, dying, heavenly parent, going hungry, heavenly parent, losing their parents, heavenly parent. We pray that heavenly parents, you can embrace them. We pray that heavenly parents, the good news can reach them. We pray that heavenly parents, even when they are orphans, heavenly parents, they could still feel your love. As mothers from a distance, heavenly parent, we pray for them. That heavenly parent, let them feel you, your warmth. In dreams, heavenly parent, in revelations, heavenly parent, let them meet people who have your heart who have understood your heart, heavenly parent, to embrace these children. We pray that heavenly parents, even all these international organizations which are involved in keeping peace, could quickly understand this value and urge you all the leaders who are involved in this situation, heavenly parent, to come together. Those who have interacted our true with our true mother, heavenly parent, could remember that there is an important person in this world who can be able to guide this situation. And they work with her and they follow her principles and her guidance and create peace in those areas as soon as possible. Heavenly parent, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Continue, Heavenly Parent, planting that good heart in us, that we can embrace each and everyone who is around us, that we may not discriminate people according to color, according to sex, Heavenly Parent, and according to uh, the situation and the education background, Heavenly Parent, but we embrace everyone as your children, Heavenly Parent. Thank you so much. Continue guiding us. Continue teaching us your, your ways, Heavenly Parent. And let us, Heavenly Parent, that this condition that we are making right here, Heavenly Parent, can be a condition to change history of this world. We may be few, but Heavenly Parent, we are crying and we know that the one we, we have is a majority and you are the majority, Heavenly Parent. We thank you and believe in you and we know that it will come to pass and this whole world will follow our true mother and this world will be one, Heavenly Parent, and we can be able to deliver and offer to you a, a, a third of the world is of the world is population of any parent by 2027. We pray for the good health of our true mother. We pray for the true family. We pray for the providential leaders. We pray for everyone who is working so hard, heavenly parent, to ensure peace, King of Kings. Thank you so much, heavenly parent. I would like to offer this prayer on behalf of brother and sister who are on this platform in your most precious name, Aju. Ah, Jews. Thank you. Thank you very much, Grace. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little bit late today. We have a, a marriage blessing uh, event today. So it was interesting. Let's uh, join the prayer now. Try to... Okay, thank you. Okay, my microphone is working. Everything is working. Okay. Please join my prayer. Dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you here at this uh, moment, at this place. Uh, you are meeting us daily and uh, we are so happy and uh, thankful for you and uh, our beloved uh, true parents. Uh, we want to meet you and feel you, understand you and uh, listen to your tips, what you want to say to us today. And dear Heavenly Parents, so uh, we are um, uh, so happy to meet here uh, Utsai Laja from India. She is representing the Asia and the Grace from Uganda. She is from Africa and I'm in Europe. 
So uh, you meet us this Trinity, and we are spiritually pray for all seven billion plus people that everybody could receive equally your blessing and you true love. And uh, we are we are we are so inspired about your words that you meet you give us through Messiah Second Coming uh, that uh, the world peace could be done by 2027. And this is very great vision, the greatest vision ever. Uh, unfortunately, there is still corruption around us and many things is going, but uh, we want to see this light and unite with you. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we um, want to do your will. So uh, today we was uh, reading about uh, government and the people, and this is very good. We pray for our governments, for all countries that we are representing, and uh, we also for all other countries, uh, governments, that they could understand your will. And also we pray that uh, uh, we also will uh, make um, good steps every day. We could understand your will and make good steps to build this kingdom with our own hands because it will not come miracles and even uh, wars as we see that uh, uh, the, the world peace became so fragile in these days and uh, everybody is worried about this and everything is prices are rising and everything is uh, uh, all of this uh, rising but uh, you lead us with you um great power of uh, uh, global mind that um, we are all you children in one mindset of course there remains of some uh, uh, egoistic uh, thoughts uh, and the egoistic deeds, therefore, they are still fighting in some parts of the world. But uh, basically, you, you show us how we could live in peace. And we want to, to grow this and every day grow this peace uh, and build this heavenly kingdom. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to be with you. And um, of course, uh, uh, your ways are very mysterious. And uh, we want to unite with you and uh, uh, do your will, dear Heavenly Parent, but and understand this, how we could do it uh, every day, every hour, every second. Dear Heavenly Parent, please continue to give, you, give your will to us daily. And we want to uh, purify ourselves and uh, uh, building peace. We are doing this in, not only in this prayer meeting, but also in the, our life, uh, as I said, the, and bring this to you uh, today meeting uh, uh, about uh, marriage blessing, your marriage blessing. And uh, I know that this is the only possible way that true love will cover all the planet. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, all your children are waiting for this blessing. Please show us how we could uh, bless it to one third of humankind and even more by 2027. Dear Heavenly Parent, we uh, want to feel you, we want to hear you, we want to understand you, we want to see you. So please lead us, please, please purify us from all these uh, difficulties and uh, show us the bright uh, way for the bright future. And uh, we want to unite with you and pray for the next generation. Uh, they are also inspired today. They are, they are also um, uh, next generation. We want to prepare the, everything for them, for our children, and uh, for all future generations that also could live with you. Dear Heavenly Parent, please uh, receive this uh, 13th of May, 2022, everything what we've done. Of course, we are not perfect, and we make uh, maybe many mistakes, or we don't make something what you wish us to do, but we want to unite with you and do more tomorrow. Uh, so please lead us and uh, Let's plan together and unite together and do everything together. Dear Heavenly Parent, I pray this and uh, um, please receive this short report uh, as a prayer. And my name is Nikolai Serpala, Santa Claus family. Uh, adieu, amen, amen, amen. Uh, okay. Thank you, Nick. That was wonderful. Amen. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Let's invite Dr. Wom. Maybe he could also say a powerful prayer or wish for peace. Dr. Rom, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
Yeah, you may say a powerful prayer for peace as we are in this global prayer uh, chain. And uh, you could say in your language and your faith, uh, anything just for peace. Thank you, sir. So please uh, say a prayer for peace, Dr. Rom, or uh, a wish for peace, or uh, anything, good words for peace, <laughs> vision. Hello? Yeah, yeah. could you say a prayer if Pray for peace. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How about you? You hear us? Uh, my my name my name is Doctor Om Prakash from India. Okay. okay. And uh, okay, I pray to all uh, connected with me. Uh, Okay, God bless you and always be happy. This is my uh, today message for all of meeting attend, who is meeting attend, okay? Wow, so very good, Dr. Rom. Short and Thank you powerful. very much. <laughs> this, Thank uh, you. So, we are on the uh, prayer my, chain for uh, today, praying for God to make world peace my, as soon as possible. My English is not uh, good. Okay, sorry for convenience. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Your English is okay. We understand. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. There are a greatness. Uh, uh, so I close my uh, camera. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, all the okay. best. See you tomorrow. Thank you same very much. Time, same place. Bye bye, Salaja. Oh, bye bye. Grace. Thank you. So thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Namaste. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye Grace. All the best. God bless you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.